Hello guys, Anthony here for another Resident Evil Collection update. And before I start this video, I'm going to shout out Joe, my good friend Joe. Uh, he actually found this. Uh, you might recognize his name from the last collection update video. He found me Resident Evil 5 on PC. Well, kind of stuck with tradition on this one. He wasn't sure if this was complete this time around, uh, but then when he actually went back to the same exact place, he found it and it was complete. And it's actually pretty cool because these have been on my list for a while. Uh, so it's always great when you have good friends that just get you stuff. And it was really cheap too, like super cheap. So you're awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Um, you know, now I've got to continue to my PC collection. Now I don't have a choice. i got to keep doing it. Because um, there's still, you know, physical copies for the, uh, like, older versions that isn't 7. Uh, even if 7 got a physical and it just has a code inside... I'm not really going to get that, so I'm going to stick with like the older ones. That, seem, that seems to make more sense, but this is Resident Evil 4 on the PC. Of course, this is the 2007 version that is on PC. The new version, the Ultimate one, is only digital. Maybe it's physical in the UK, but it's just, yeah, this is the 2007 uh, Ubisoft uh, port. The, this came with the manual, so it is complete. Even PC games had manuals back then, nice and colorful, and going over all of the game screens and title screens, and the notes. This guy actually wrote notes uh, for puzzles, which is actually kind of cool. Um, so he was writing some kind of puzzles, and even on this piece of paper, uh, he has certain puzzles and was writing down emblems. So whoever was playing this was really into it. Um, so I'm probably going to just stick that like back here, just because that's kind of cool. I don't know. I like shit like that. Even though it was previously owned, um, obviously the CD, you could install it and you could play it, and it is in, like, mint condition. Uh, but the main thing is that, you know, this version did look like shit. It didn't look like... It looked better, but, you know, now you got one that runs in 60 frames and it's 1080p, and it makes a lot more sense, uh, you know, for them to, you know not really release it physically now because nobody really cares you know that i guess they figured well we already released it physically once in 2007 let's not do it again uh or 2008 this one might have come out in 2008 but it, hey you know same exact thing so same idea same amount of distance between that but anyway that's it so let's uh put this in the collection make some room all right so we made some spot for it so this is the resident evil 4 in the collection. This is the big box compared to the slim one, but I still think it looks awesome on the shelf. Thanks again, Joe, and thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for Eternal Darkness, and check out the new episode of the Let's Talk Resident Evil podcast where we discuss the Resident Evil film reboots. Uh, I am also still doing the fan meetup. That is June 11th, Sunday in Cornwall, New York. I'll put all the links down there at the bottom, so hopefully I can see some of you guys uh, you know, there, and it'll be a good time. We'll play some games. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for all the rest of the content. Also, more videos like this, because I got some cool stuff coming in. Anyway, catch you guys later.